Hello everyone, this is Rob with Media Awareness and I'm here today to talk about an unusual topic for my channel but something that is poignant to me specifically as a single slash divorced white male in my early 50s. <laughs> Online dating, oh yes. It just got harder actually. Um, as if it wasn't hard enough to meet people, um, that you're compatible with and really connect with on all levels. Online dating just became even more difficult. Um, and you might be asking yourself, how is this possible? Well... If you're not using a cell phone with apps for dating, um, which I'm not, I'm using my PC, um, you do have access to certain dating sites. Um, most are paid sites, some are free. Um, Plenty of Fish and OkCupid have been most notably long-term free dating sites for anyone and everyone who wanted to meet people. Okay, Cupid tightened things up a bit um, as far as being able to uh, contact people, but it was still not a bad option. Plenty of Fish was always pretty much uh, an easy way to uh, to look at profiles and if you were interested in said person after reading their profile assuming they did, that they filled it out thoroughly which most don't but that's besides the point um, once you have done so you could you could send said person a message. Well, today is September 15th, 2022, and um, as of actually yesterday probably, or even um, the day before, I noticed uh, it was different. You, I was clicking on profiles, reading things, and I found myself really liking this one in particular. And uh, I read through the profile. There was a nice thorough about section. And I thought, yeah, this woman sounds like my type. And I went to send her a message. And you can no longer send messages to people who do not already like your profile. So you have to go through, give a like to people's profiles in order to either be able to send them a message or to receive a message from them. It's ridiculous. It's more complicated than it needs to be. In other words, um, there is this like feature on every profile. And um, I have read profiles that, that have said um, that I don't have a paid membership. I'm using a free trial and um, message me, please don't click the like button. I can't see likes. But now likes are mandatory in order for you to be able to communicate with anyone that you're interested in. And if they don't like you back, <laughs> you can't even start a conversation to get to know if you're going to like them. It's, it's, it's ridiculous. Um, I've talked to plenty of people over the years on Plenty of Fish. I've been on the dating scene uh, off and on. Um, since my divorce in 2011 um, 
and I've had some relationships in the meantime, but uh, being back on the dating scene as of um, this video, September 15th of 2022, I just found this incredibly difficult and incredibly frustrating. And here's another catch too, you can only send um, so many messages back and forth per day. Um, now I'm not sure if that's if you have a paid membership or if someone likes you and you like them back and just happen to connect and be able to message each other or not. But yeah. Um, so yeah, <laughs> great stuff. Um, it's, you know, there are other sites out there, most, like I said, are paid sites. I'm not going to pay, though, for something unless I know that I'm going to get results. I know people can say, well, if you don't try, you won't know. And that's not necessarily the case. If there's interest there and it's expressed, you'll know. But now you can't even express that interest other than clicking like and hoping that the person clicks like back and that you're notified of this and therefore you can message said person back. It is ridiculous for years and years and years up until Greece like this week plenty of fish was a forum where you could go to set up your profile and um, send a message to anyone and yeah you know people were getting messages from people that had already received messages from they're getting frustrated with that but you know that goes with changing your profile picture because people look different you know um it's a mistake we all make and we don't keep track necessarily of who we're messaging um so that's something that is an unavoidable error um in online dating um, and unfortunately a lot of the other uh, ways of meeting people have dried up you know the bar scene was never really a thing um, and meeting people just kind of casually out and about doesn't happen really anymore because everyone is on their cell phones um, <laughs> either texting or talking or whatever um, so yes I'm rambling but for a cause because as a 51 year old divorced white male who happens to be disabled as well it's frustrating enough to try and meet people in general, but to meet someone that you want to have a relationship with, a romantic relationship with, um, it's just, it's gotten more difficult now. And I just wanted to raise attention to this uh, newfound obstacle in the dating scene. So I hope that anyone watching this has been informed if you like this um video or if you like my content in general please click the like button click the uh notification bell to be um notified whenever i upload something new typically i cover music and movie and uh other um media related topics However, I was really frustrated this morning when I um, realized that I can no longer send messages to 
people that I find to be intellectually stimulating. Um, even if, you know, they might not agree, I should at least be allowed to try. And, you know, if they don't necessarily find me to be their cup of tea, you know, that's fine. I'm cool with that. But have the the ability to to have the ability to do so is really what this is all about. And that ability has been now taken away. Um, so, yeah. Online dating just got more difficult. Yay. <laughs> um, like I said, if you like this, leave a comment, leave a like. Uh, feel free to check out my Facebook link in the profile. Contact me there if you like. Um, uh, and I do have my Patreon link, which I still have to do more work on my Patreon page. But that's there as well. Um, you can check out the perks I offer and message me on Facebook if you are interested in that. This is Rob with Media Awareness and my apologies for this rant um, because that's what this was, a rant. Have a great day and talk to you soon. Bye.